Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. If you were new, welcome. In today's video, we are back at the elderly couple's home. We have not been over here for a while, so we are starting on their living room. We are also working on a linen closet in their hallway and then deep cleaning their whole hallway as well. So lots of content, lots of organizing, lots of cleaning, tons of dust. It is so incredibly satisfying to see some of this dust get removed and the linen closet, oh my goodness, the before and after is absolutely amazing. So definitely stay tuned for that. That's about halfway through this video. So I am just working with the wife on this day. We are first starting, we're just kind of working our way through the room. We're starting in this area and then shifting over left. Um, as you can see, um, the parts of the living room are just kind of being used as a storage unit slash dumping ground for all sorts of items. Um, this is definitely a huge hot spot for them. Um, there's books and movies and cords. You can see that ottoman. That is actually dust on top of it. It is not faded. It is years and years of dust. Um, and so in this space, I am seeing a lot of what I have seen in the other rooms throughout their home um, is just the same disorganization holding on to a lot of paper clutter. Um, that is definitely one of the categories that is really hard for them to let go. Um, and then a lot of electronic type items. So anything that really kind of falls under the category of electronics, a very, very broad category. Um, and it's really just a lack of organization systems. Um, and so as things come in the home, they just kind of get dropped there and then they stay there. So we're really trying to remove a lot of the items out of the home, anything that's excess or just plain trash, and then slowly implementing some organization systems. There is one room. Um, it is their kind of office slash spare bedroom. Um, and getting that room is, I think, really going to be key to um, bringing in the best organizations possible in their home. Um, as I've kind of been going through the different areas, there are still like different categories that are spread throughout. And so once we get that spare bedroom cleaned, I can start bringing all of the different categories, like all of the electronics and all of the cleaning supplies and car supplies and all of the paper, bring all of those categories together in that one room. So we are going through their movies. Oh my goodness. Um, this is a category that the husband was extremely, extremely reluctant to get rid of. Um, I would say there's a few hundred videos that they have, and there was a lot that was still in the wrapper, completely unopened. Um, and those videos go back, I think, two or three layers. So definitely the stuff in the back was absolutely not getting watched. Um, I would probably bet that the majority of it is really just not getting watched at all. Um, and it's one of those things that um, the husband has a great interest in. And so I know a lot of money was spent on this, um, but there's definitely an excess of buying this. Um, I think he gets very hyper-focused on different types of categories and just uh, kind of goes nuts with it. Um, so we're clearing out like a lot of the kids movies, you know, they're in their seventies, they're not watching cartoons anymore. So we're letting go of some of those things, some of the things that you can find on Netflix and other streaming services, um, keeping a lot of the things where there's like sets of different stuff. Um, he loves Blu-ray. I'm not sure what, I don't really know what Blu-ray is, um, but he wanted to keep all of those. So we did. Um, I would say we got rid of at least a third of what was in there and even putting everything back. Um, it was still full. So there, he definitely still has a very good collection here. Um, and so hopefully he will not be bringing any more movies in. Um, that's really the only way that this space is going to be maintained is if stuff just stops being brought into the house. So I'm gonna stop talking, let some music play and watch everything get organized.
So if you have not seen the other videos in this series, I'm gonna have it linked above, so definitely check those out. And if you are brand new to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe. My channel is full of cleaning and organizing and DIYs, just tons of cleaning motivation, and I would love to have you join my little community here as we grow. Um, and don't forget to like, that it definitely goes a long way in supporting my channel as well. So there was a decent amount of trash in this area in these boxes and just kind of shoved all in the nooks and crannies in this area. Um, this box, um, this whole area has looked like this since I started coming over to their house and cleaning about two months ago. Um, so it's definitely been sitting there for quite some time. Um, so we're just going through the contents of the box. Like a lot of areas of the home, um, there may be a few items that can be saved or they want to save and then the rest of it is just really trash so I think that there are uh, some attempts sometimes to organize things and contain things but I almost feel like boxes and things of that nature are kind of doing them a disservice because it just becomes another place for them to dump items into and for things to get stacked up in. Now this one bin that I'm going through was a very, very, very sensitive bin. Um, 
there was a significant amount of anxiety as um, I was going through the bin, especially on the husband's part. Um, and so I just kind of eased into it a little bit. We were just going to take a look at what was on the surface of it. And, you know, he was very adamant that he knew exactly what was in the bin, all of the contents, and that absolutely everything needed to be saved. But as we kind of started going through a few things, he was like, oh, that can be tossed, that can be tossed, that can be tossed. Um, and so kind of what what I've seen here and in other areas of the home is like that first layer. They really know what that stuff is. And then as you go down, it's probably stuff that was stored several years ago and they just forgot it was there or, you know, it was some little pamphlet from church or something they just tossed in there and it just stuff got built up on top of it. Um, so I had to go very slow. I had to, you know, assure them that nothing was going to be tossed, that they didn't want to be tossed and all paperwork was going to be kept and we were only throwing away trash. Um, so they had a lot of input in this. I think it was just another opportunity to build trust with them. Um, but it was definitely, this box was a very, very sensitive box. Um, and so we got rid of about half of what was in that box. So I think it was a really good lesson to, you know, kind of push them outside of their comfort zone just a little um, and just to look into each space, you know, even if you think you know exactly what's in there, you know, it's worth it to just take another pass at it, look at it again. Um, and so that box is one of going to be one of the items that I'm going to move into their spare bedroom whenever we can get that cleaned out. Um, and at the moment, like there's just literally no room in that spare bedroom. It's probably going to be an area that I have to break up probably into four videos because it's going to take me a significant amount of time to go through. But things like that, that are in, being stored in that box in that corner, Eventually, I do want to get moved out of the living room and just have it be a living room and not a storage space for them. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again The fuck's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass Y'all, the dust on this end table was absolutely amazing. I did ask the wife, you know, when, when was the last time this was dusted? And she thinks maybe eight years. <laughs> so um, I don't know that it's been eight years, uh, but I would bet at least a couple of years, maybe two years, um, a significant amount of dust on everything. I know it's probably a generational difference, but all of those little tchotchkes and different little things, um, I think they those things were handed down to them. Um, but I think it's just a generation thing. I don't like having those types of things out because for me, all I see is, oh gosh, this is going to collect dust and it's just one more thing to do. Um, but if it's something you enjoy, absolutely have those things out. Um, just dust them periodically. Maybe don't wait <laughs> two whole years. Y'all, this has to be one of the funniest things I have probably found in this house. This is a, a vintage, vintage suitcase and there were tools like screwdrivers and things like that in it. Um, so not sure how that was being used. Maybe he was using it as a toolbox. I'm not sure. I think once we get into the spare bedroom, I'm going to try to find a toolbox. If not, I definitely want to buy them one. Um, because, um, I don't think a vintage suitcase is an appropriate toolbox. I think we can do a little better than that. Um, but I just wanted to point that out there because I thought that was wild.
Sometimes we act like a fool Not aware we're troublemakers Sometimes we try to be cool Not being givers, only takers So this area to the right of the couch, um, this is where the wife spends most of her time during the day. Um, so she has a lot of like coloring books and things like that, just kind of to keep her busy during the day. And I kindly request that you do not pass judgment, at least in the comments. Um, but the area does not look like it had been cleaned in quite some time. Um, so she eats all of our meals here as well. Um, it's also an area that you could tell probably like the other end table hadn't been dusted in quite some time. Um, so we're just going through all of the coloring books, seeing if there's anything that she is ready to get rid of. There was a good amount that she was ready to let go of, some books as well, and definitely giving everything a really, really good clean. Um, I did end up giving them one of my handheld vacuums, um, and so that during the day she can vacuum up any crumbs from eating, vacuum up any dust, and just um, so she can be a part of keeping her space clean as well and that so it's not something that she has to wait on her husband for that she can be involved in you know keeping up with, with her space and that little area as well you'll see that stack of pillows um, on the couch she does use all of them um, she needs them for support she has some issues getting up out of that couch and it kind of sinks a little bit low so that is what she uses all of the pillows for I know it's probably not the prettiest thing you've ever seen but those are needed there so they are gonna stay um, but we are just really giving this space a good clean out she was surprised at some of the things that had come out of those bins and buckets she was storing everything in so it was definitely overdue and the space just felt so much nicer after we were done.
So if you noticed an outfit change here, um, I had actually not been able to get back over there for several weeks. The wife had been sick. Um, so the first part and now this part are several weeks apart. Um, so I'm just trying to make sure everything that I had cleaned before, get all of that tidied up and then just continue working my way over. Um, again, this is where the wife sits the majority of the time and eats her meals. So it was very, very dirty, lots of crumbs. I think that little handheld vacuum is going to be key in trying to keep this area maintained as best as possible. Um, so just trying to vacuum up as much crumbs as I can and kind of hand clean the couch as best as I can. It is a microfiber, so it cleaned up pretty well. Um, there was some staining I wasn't able to get out, uh, but definitely looking a lot better. There are plants on the floor. I'm sure you've noticed um, there was a recent freeze. So they had brought in all of their plants from out on their patio inside. And so it is now warm again outside and all of that has been moved back out onto the patio. But we are just leaving it there for now. And the living room is done. It took several days spread out over several weeks to get everything done. Um, again, this is not like an HGTV transformation. We are just trying to bring in some more organization and kind of declutter and get everything really, really cleaned. And I do think we achieved that. Um, they are both very pleased. So now we are moving on to the linen closet. Holy cow, this was such an amazing transformation. Um, so much stuff stuffed in here, like zero organization at all. Um, tons of stuff that we declutter. This is an extremely deep linen closet. I'm so jealous. There is so much storage space in here. Um, so as you can see, things have just been getting shoved in here and not really folded, no rhyme or reason to really any of it. Um, so we are just going to go through absolutely everything that was in there and get the linen closet cleaned out and, uh, bring in some organization. So I have to admit, in this exact moment, I was totally overwhelmed by the volume of stuff. Um, it really was quite overwhelming and I couldn't even necessarily take it out in the most organized way because it was just kind of all crammed in there. Um, and sometimes the best thing to do is just pull it all out and go through it one by one. And that's what we had to do. Um, the kind of the backstory on the volume of this stuff is that um, some of their neighbors, whenever, you know, they would move out or go to assisted living, they were handing down and donating to this couple a lot of, of their items. And the majority of the stuff that the wife identified as having been donated to them was in such poor condition, I just, I couldn't even donate it. It was just tattered and stained really, really bad. Um, so there was a lot of stuff that we just had to throw away. Um, there were only a few things that I felt comfortable donating. There were a couple of new items in there, still in its packaging. Um, and then all of the towels that were still in good condition, we kept those. 
Um, so there was probably, I would say at least half of what was in that linen closet, we actually did either get trashed or donated. Um, so it was a very, very overly stuffed linen closet. And now they have lots of extra space. Um, if they want to bring in anything new, hopefully they don't. Um, they definitely have more than enough in that linen closet. Um, but it definitely, um, it's a lot of breathing room now in that space. y'all more more cords I was like oh oh my goodness it's just a bag full of cords and I had used that ottoman that's just to the left of the screen um to store cords from when I was cleaning out the living room and I was like I, I don't even know if these cords are going to fit in there I think I made them fit um and I had taken a peek into the closet of the spare bedroom an insane amount of cords. Um, there's absolutely no way that anyone could know what all of those cords go to. I'm sure a bunch of old devices and electronics and all sorts of different things. Um, and this is another category of items where he has an extreme interest in electronics and cars. And so I know that the chances of him slimming that category down is probably going to be slim to none. Um, so we are going to really have to work on finding some good organization bins um, and storing them as efficiently as possible to where they aren't taking up a bunch of room. Um, I'll see if I can work on him and if he'll get rid of any of them. But it, it, I was just overwhelmed in that moment. I was like, I don't know what to do with all of these cords. What are they? Um, it's something that overwhelms me. I'm definitely not like an electronic or car person at all. So I'm like, I don't even know what this is. I don't know what to do with it. Um, so we'll see when we get into the other room, what kind of space we can make for them.
So we are moving on to their hallway. This is just right outside of their bathroom and bedroom. Um, this little corner of the hallway, um, unfortunately has been used as storage space and I really, really, really wanted to get this spot cleared out, um, because all of it was not stable and, you know, the wife does use a walker and a wheelchair sometimes. And as you can see, the stuff stored on top, all it takes is one little bump and that stuff is going to fall over. Um, that bigger box is like like um, some sort of speaker and subwoofer and something like that. And so I strongly encourage the husband not to store it here. Um, so I moved it to that spare bedroom and I don't know if he's, he's going to keep it in there. He was pretty adamant about keeping it in the hallway and I did express concern over the wife's safety. So hopefully he has kept it in the spare bedroom um, and has not moved it back um, to that little area to the left of this door. Um, so we shall see the next time we go over there. But again, like I've said, once we start creating space in that spare bedroom, I think I can fit all of that into the closet in there. Um, it, it's just been one of those things where it has been hard for both of them to kind of see how rearranging and reorganizing and storing things in a more efficient manner can actually open up a lot of space and you probably can keep a lot more things than you thought um, just by storing things a little bit better. So we shall, we shall see once we get into that bedroom, um, but I'm really, really hoping that stuff did not make it back out into the hallway. So these baseboards for sure have not ever been cleaned, I think, the whole time that they've been there. So it felt really, really good to clean them. And um, I also kind of took the attachment of the vacuum to get in that little space in between where the carpet meets the baseboard. Um, it was just pulling up all sorts of crunchy stuff. So it definitely was well overdue for a very, very good cleaning. And I am just cleaning all the little knickknacks. Again, knickknacks, oh, they drive me crazy. But if it's something you like, absolutely have them out. Just make it a point to dust them periodically. So I was getting everything dusted and trying to arrange it in a little better way way to where it was kind of more visually appealing um, and so I think it turned out looking very cute um, but yeah this whole area the walls everything needed a really really good dusting it's already kind of a very dimly lit hallway and kind of a sad hallway so getting everything cleaned and dusted just I feel like breathes some new life back into that space. So that is it. The hallway's done. One last space crossed off the list. And if you have not done so already, I would absolutely love it if you liked and subscribed because we have more spaces coming up.